All right, I spent like an hour and a half the other Friday creating this three-dimensional space here. Um, I, and it was really fun, and I, ho I hope you like it. Uh, this is re really cool. You're getting into three-dimensional graphing, so um, good for you. So let's 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 try to draw a cube. Let's try to draw a three-dimensional object in this 3D space. So this is uh, this is three-dimensional, and the three dimensions are the um, um, x, y, and then z. And z is what takes us, um, pops us into the world of, of the three-dimensional. So you're, you're familiar with x and y on a two-dimensional coordinate plane. And z, boom, we're taking it into a new dimension. So here we go. Um, now, granted, when I'm plotting this, I'm d doing all of this on a two-dimensional computer screen. So um, I have to use some kind of visual tricks to imagine that this is a three-dimensional space and that's why I have this kind of perspective these perspective lines um, so I, I don't know to me this looks three-dimensional it does the elusive trick um, hopefully this will work for you and um, I made so I'm gonna use these points here and I made them smaller and smaller and smaller to do to give the perspective of being farther and farther away kind of you can imagine deeper and deeper into uh, my computer screen. So let's plot some points. Let's just start with a cube. I think that'll be hard enough. Um, so let's draw, let's plot some points. There's um, eight vertices in a cube. Eight little points where lines meet. Um, and let's plot those. So let's, um, so I'm just gonna, alright, so this first point I'm gonna put at x is 2 and then y is 2 um, all, all these points in this line will be y, y is 2 and then z let's pop this up in the air um, up to y is 2 so I'm gonna line it up like that and let me just draw some lines to kind of show you where this thing is located so it's uh, so it's x is 2 so I'm kind of going over to this way, I'm going over to this way, and then I'm going going up to like that, uh, which you can kind of see like that, two up one two. Um, so that's where that's where this guy exists now. Um, so let's let's make another point um, at a similar location. Um, Let's make this point. So we'll we'll keep y is two, so it lines up, and we'll just make x four. So it'll be a, a cube that is um, two units wide here. So and then we'll lift this up in the air, if you will, uh, to right about there. Um, all right. Um, now let's see. I might have to get rid of. I have to not get rid of move math ceratops. Okay, so um, let's get the other two vertices in the front, and um, let's make this uh, okay. See, so these are this is kind of the, the front face of the cube, and these are all located. All these points are located at. Um, y equals two, um, so they're all t they're all this far deep into my screen. Uh, but then we got x is two, x is four, x is two, x is four, and then z, z is two, z is um, four, and z is four. All right, so that's the front front plate of the of the cube. Um, now let's let's make let's give it some depth here. Um, and actually, I think it's going to be harder to give it depth this way farther into the screen. So let's let's give it a front up here. Let's get let's make it smack right up against the um, the window, if you will, of this three-dimensional space. So let's um, so actually, I'm going to make that the back plate, if you will, of the cube. Um, so we want. Um, these to line up. So uh, x is 2 and then uh, y uh, now 
y is going to be zero, and that's when that's what's going to give this um, some uh, some depth. So y is zero, but then z we're going to pop this up so that it lines up with this uh, this vertex. Okay, so z so um, if we imagine where this thing is located, so y is is zero. X is two, and then Z Z is two. So it kind of something like that. If that makes sense. Okay. Let's make uh, another point at the same height of Z is two. Uh, but then instead of X is two, we'll do X is four. So X is four, but then Z will be two once again something like that and then let's do um, so this cube is going to be two units high I think we said it went from Z2 to Z4 so Z2 to Z4 something like that and then keep Z will be four uh, but then X will be four um, well, higher so it matches up. Okay, and now let's connect these points. And that this is gonna be the toughest part. Um, we'll see how this turns out. Let's connect these points like that. Um, and let's make this see through. Okay, um, but then we've also got so that's the front of it. Let's so let's, let's do the back of the cube. Actually, so make. Uh, okay, let's make line these up with the four corners in the back. Pop this in the front. So that's the front. We've got the back. Um, it's gonna be tough to draw the connecting lines, but I hope you can kind of imagine. There's a top here. There's a side here. There's a bottom there. There's a side there. So that's a little bit of of something of how you would plot a three-dimensional object in a three-dimensional space. So you're not dealing with x and y only anymore. Now you've got this z, and it's tough to do on a three dimen or a two dimensional surface like a computer screen or a piece of paper. So don't get frustrated if you're having a difficult time, but have fun with it. This this is good stuff.